Welcome to Minutes That Matter. In this video, we will learn how to install and configure print and document service. Let's go for our VMware workstation. In that, we'll log into our server as administrator. In tools, you can see that there is already an option or an MMC called print management. You can see the list of existing printers or print devices which are available in our network. Okay, so let's go for adding the roles. Let's select print and document service. Click next. And for this video, we will stick to only print server. We can also choose other options, but for now we'll stay with print server. Let's click next and install. Okay, the installation is complete. Let's give close. Now, once again, we'll go back to tools and print management. Okay, looks like we have opened the min window twice. Now, there are no existing printers. Right now, we have only one print server. So let's try installing a new printer, which is going to be our local printer for this server. To do that, we can go for control panel or settings. And by the way, we can also see if there are any printers which are already connected to our server and if they are disabled or enabled or anything like that. Now let's go to settings, in there we'll select devices. We can scroll down to see devices and printers. Now in this window we have options to add devices and also to add printers. We can add devices like external hard drives, cameras, USB devices etc. Obviously our printer is also one of the USB devices which we can connect. Uh, let's select a local printer and in there we'll select the COM port. LPT stands for line printer terminal generally used for dot matrix printers. Now in here let's select a manufacturer HP and the printer model HP color laser jet say 2500 series and PCL6 driver. Now, uh, this looks like a long name, so we'll give a short name to this one. HP CLJ, abbreviation for color laser jet. Yes, we would like to share the printer. You can see it is already installed in the background. Now we are going to set it as our default printer. Let's click finish. And so the green tick on the printer shows that it's going to be our default printer. Now we can see back in print management, HP CLJ is visible, which is installed recently. Now, if we want to configure permissions on this printer, means to say, if we want to apply settings like who is allowed to access the printer or when the printer is supposed to be accessible things like that we can do it on the printer right here by selecting right click on the printer and then selecting properties now in properties we can see under advanced we do have options to select the time limit for the printer to be accessible we can go to security and let's say we add a user 2 and 1 and we give different permissions to both the users u01 and u02 
okay so let's say u02 uh, should not have permissions to access the printer and u01 should be acting like an administrator on the printer so accordingly we give the permissions there it is we have made u01 administrator and u02 don't have any access to the printer okay let's go on to the client side and log in as the domain administrator and to install a printer a network printer on the client computer it is a pretty simple method that is in run just type the network path and the ip address of the remote server or the print server in our case it is 192.168.10.1 which is our domain controller as well as print server so there we can see hp clj but before we go for installing it let's go to the computer management or we can go for settings by the way and then devices and then devices and printers we can also just type devices and printers in start that also will work now you can see we don't have uh, the hp clj printer installed already but we do have the network path where we have this hp clj accessible over the network all i have to do is double click on hp clj and you can see the network drivers for that printer are installed so it's pretty simple method now we can also go for adding a printer and then selecting the network path or even going to the address bar and typing the location of the printer and then selecting the printer and so on there are different ways to do it in fact we can also install a printer using group policies but for now let's go with a very simple setting and i believe you have learned that uh, we can also make it as a default printer for now so in this video we have learned how to install a local printer how to set it up over the server and then how to access as a network printer from the client computer thank you for watching